Let's talk about Auburn right quick. And this was, of course, uh, reported on Saturday morning from Bruce Feldman. If they get beat today by Missouri, I'm told there's a really good chance they could pull the plug on Harson as early as tomorrow. Why? If you already know that you're going to fire him, then why do you wait? Like, why Why let him... Look, LSU was very smart about this with, with Ed Orgeron. They, they announced that Ed Orgeron had been relieved as the LSU head coach right after they got a win over Florida. They did not give it time for him to win back the roster or for him to build up hype, etc., uh, it's kind of the same situation that Joe Oliva had with Les Miles way back when. He won the last however many games, and the players are because everybody knew that he was going to be fired after the season. And then you build up too much goodwill among the fan base, et cetera, and nobody wants him fired. And then you look like the bad guy if you do fire him at the end of the year. And uh, the rules have changed. Why are you allowing Harson to continue coaching? It, you're going to owe him the same money. What difference does it make? You, you already know that the season is a wash, regardless of what happened in a game against Missouri, where one of the worst teams in the SEC just took you at home to overtime. You know that you don't have much of a prayer against the rest of the schedule. Why? And so I don't really understand what they're doing, but uh, if you look, Joel Klatt, this is this is what he said on on his show on the Joel Clapp podcast. Uh, can you go into? Uh, excuse me. This is on the next round. Uh, can you go into any living room in America and win recruiting battles? And to me, that's Deion Sanders. So that's why I think Deion is going to be the next coach at Auburn. I will go ahead and tell you, there is a zero percent chance that Deion Sanders will be the coach at Auburn. Zero percent. And I will explain why. Deion Sanders is a coach that wants to be able to control everything. And at Auburn, he will not control anything. You already see what he has done at Jackson State. He's ending a bunch of these classics like the Southern Heritage Classic, etc. He is, he himself is finding ways to schedule games to get Jackson State into premier opportunities, etc. At Auburn, you don't get to do that. At Auburn, you get told what to do. We just saw Alan Green get fired for not following what the boosters wanted to do. Deion Sanders is not going to go in there regardless of how much they pay him. That man has made so much money. He ain't worried about it. He coaches for the love of coaching. He's not going to do it somewhere where they're telling him what to do. So I, I would be shocked, beyond shocked, because I think it is literally a 0% chance that he coaches at Auburn. Auburn is more likely to hire Hugh Freeze and bring in Kevin Steele as the defensive coordinator again. That's who's going to fit at Auburn because that's somebody that'll do what he's told. Bottom line. So I, it, it's a... Deion Sanders to Auburn is not happening. It's just not happening. So And you guys can disagree with me in the comments or or whatever if you want to, but I'm telling you, that ain't happening. And anybody that's around that Auburn football program or or around the state of Alabama knows it as well. Auburn will not. It doesn't matter if they want to do it. He ain't coming up there because he won't have control. Bottom line. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.